verifying the to the Morgan loss. Complement of A intersection B equals A complement union B complement. Complement A union B equals A complement intersection B complement. Using Venn diagrams. The Morgan Loss Theory. We can find this loss explained by different authors. Review briefly. If A and B are any two subsets of a sample space S, their union is the subset of S that contains all the numbers that are in both A and B. Their intersection is the subset of S that contains all the numbers that of A that also belong to B, but no other numbers. The complement of A is the subset of S that contains all the numbers of S that are not in A. The Morgan laws are some of the rules that control the formation of unions, intersections, and complements. Let's consider the sample space as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Subset A as numbers multiple of 2. Subset B as numbers multiple of 3. The sample space and the subsets A and B can be shown using a Venn diagram. Verifying the first De Morgan law. The complement of the intersection of subsets A and B is equal to the complement of subset A union the complement of subset B. starting with the left side of the expression. Subset A intersection subset B. The Venn diagram shows the element in the intersection area. The only number that can be read is 6. Complement of the intersection of subsets A and B. The Venn diagram shows the numbers that are not in the intersection area. The numbers that can be read are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. Continuing with the right side of the expression, the Morgan law. Complement of subset A. The Venn diagram shows the numbers that are not in subset A. The numbers that can be read are 0, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Complement of subset B. The Venn diagram shows the numbers that are not in subset B. The numbers that can be read are 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8. Complement of subset A union the complement of subset B. The Venn diagram shows the numbers that are in the complement of A and in the complement of B. The numbers that can be read are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. We can see that the data are the same. So the first De Morgan law is true. Verifying the second De Morgan law. The complement of the union of subsets A and B is equal to the complement of subset A intersection the complement of subset B. The same sample space S and subsets A and B will be used. 
Let's consider the sample space as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Subset A as numbers multiple of 2 and subset B as numbers multiple of 3. The sample space and the subsets A and B can be shown using a Venn diagram. Verifying the second the Morgan law. The complement of the union of subsets A and B is equal to the complement of subset A intersection the complement of subset B. Starting with the left side of the expression. Subset A union subset B. The Venn diagram shows the elements in the union of both subsets. The numbers that can be read are 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9. Complement of the union of subsets A and B. The Venn diagram shows the numbers that are not in the union of both subsets. The numbers that can be read are 0, 1, 5, 7. Continuing with the right side of the second the Morgan law. Complement of subset A. The Venn diagram shows the numbers that are not in the subset A. The numbers that can be read are 0, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Complement of subset B. The Venn diagram shows the numbers that are not in subset B. The numbers that can be read are 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8. Complement of subset A intersection the complement of subset B. The Venn diagram shows the numbers that are in the complement of A and in the complement of B. The numbers that can be read are 0, 1, 5, 7. We can see that the data are the same, so the second the Morgan law is true.